Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will discuss about mood as a central tendency. In our previous classes, we already discussed about mean and median as a central tendency. This is our next concept. Uh, please watch our previous classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, uh, let's try to understand what's mood. Mood is, a, de is defined as the value that has higher frequency in a given set of values. Anyhow, this is not the way to understand the concept. Uh, so this is the definition or we can call it as it is a value that appears most number of times. Let's try to uh, take an example and understand what's mood means. It is a value that appears most number of times. Uh, so let's take an example given set of data has been provided 1 comma 1 comma 2 comma 2 comma 2 comma so on 3 4 times they have given 3 value and 4 4 5 5 5 this is the set of data that have provided and in that uh, in this we are we will call it as mode is equal to the value that is having the most number of times that occurred most number of times it is the value that appeared most number of times which one appeared most number of times means highest frequency value which appeared most number of times means more frequency that three is having more frequency it occurred four times this is considered as our mode value now coming to that uh, we are having some we need to understand some more concept uh, regarding mode bimodal means uh, mode will have not only single value you can have two values also multiple values also suppose if you take this data 2 2 2 3 4 4 4 comma 5 5 the most frequently occurred data is considered as the mode here we are having 2 and 4 having a uh, occurred 3 3 times uh, so which one we consider as a mode both of them we considered as mode value 2 comma 4 this if you are having two mode values then we call it as bimodal similarly if you are having three mode values we call it as trimodal 2 2 2 so on in this we are having two occurred three times four occurred three times five occurred three times so mode is equal to given as a 2 comma 4 comma 5 and if you are having more than trimodal then we call it as multimodal more than that and we are having no mode also no mode situations also if all the values are uni uh, are having single value means 2 3 4 5 we don't have any f repetition of values then there is no mode for this data set uh, mode value is given as a, a nil no mode value okay now let's take an example and understand how we do the how we use the mode as a in our uh, real time data sets uh, number of wickets taken by a bowler in 10 matches so the data is distributed like this matches 1 2 3 so on up to 10 matches uh, so on the first match he has taken two wickets second match one wicket third match first one wicket fourth match three wickets fifth match two wickets sixth match two wickets like that the data is distributed so if you take the mode value mode is equal to the most number of times how many how many wickets he has uh, taken most number of times two 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 four times the most frequently occurred data is uh, appeared data is two so we consider mode is equal to two means on an average he is going to take a for each match he is going to take two wickets that is what the meaning of this uh, when we consider it as mode now let's uh, take this with a uh, graphical intuition uh, which we di already discussed about uh, symmetric distributions and asymmetric distribu uh, distributions examples in our previous classes uh, this is what we call it a symmetric distribution and uh, on the x-axis we will take some, we will take the values on the y-axis we are taking the frequencies of uh, the values so symmetric distributions means if you take the symmetric distributions if you calculate the mean for this you will get the mean value to the middle and the right half and left half left half will be almost all similar that is what we call it as symmetric distribution if you take the symmetric distribution mean value median value mode value are almost near why median value is near uh, mean, mean value and median value is same for symmetric distribution in our last classes when we discussed median how we calculate the median arrange the elements in the ascending order and pick the middle one if you arrange them in the ascending and if you pick the middle one this is one which we get so mean value median value mode also same why mode is similar to mean in symmetric distribution so mode means highest frequency value we have to consider out of all these which one is having the highest frequency middle one is having the highest frequency that is how the symmetric distribution will be 
So coming to the asymmetric distribution, this is the example which we discussed about uh, yearly income and uh, relative frequency means uh, number of uh, persons having this uh, uh, yearly income that is what the distribution means. Uh, most of the members are around uh, 5000 to 30,000 uh, as the uh, yearly income increases only few people will be having that high income. So that's why if you calculate the mean value for this mean value will come somewhere around here median value will come somewhere around here because mean value will always uh, will be moved towards the big values bigger numbers because we will go we are going to add all the values and divide it by n value so it will always pull towards the bigger values large values uh, so mean value comes somewhere here median value you arrange all of them in sequence pick the middle one so left side you are having equal number of uh, uh, equal number of population right side you are having equal number of population median value comes somewhere around, uh, here when you take the mode value highest frequency value will considered as the mode so according to your requirement according to your application according to your uh, situations you have to select which one suits to your application or examples that is what that is how you have to pick uh, mean median and mode values Hope you understand about the mode. In our next class, we are going to discuss about how to calculate the mode value if the, given the frequency distributions, uh, discrete and continuous frequency distributions. We already discussed for a median value. The same thing, how we calculate the mode will be discussed in our next class. Hope you understand the concept. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our cha channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.